I'm in Chesky Budia Pizza. That's my hotel, it's very nice. And uh, that's the bus station where I came in. So it wasn't uh, far at all. Uh, but I am just outside the old town, maybe about 10, 15 minutes walk. I'm gonna find out now, it's my first time out in the city. I'm not exactly sure how much time I'm gonna spend in this city because I've got a couple of day trips planned. I've only got two full days. I'm gonna to head to the old town, have a look at all the uh, interesting things. And then maybe, just maybe, find myself a bar and have a lovely beer. Seski Budiovica is uh, most famous for Budweiser beer, which comes from here. And I don't mean the pissy American one, I mean the actual decent one. The one that, uh, in England at least, is known as Bud Bar. And the um, brew is just outside the uh, city centre. Might go and check it out, I don't know yet. I don't know if I've got time, I should have maybe booked one more day here, I think. I appear to be just literally heading into the old town now. And I've just passed this uh, pizza place, just there. Um, looks pretty good, 39 crown. And um, that means that I'll have a bit of uh, lining on my stomach. Which means, <laughs> straight to a bar. Right, and so this is the... Uh, Main square, I guess. This is the uh, Samson Fountain then. It's uh, been here for centuries and it has become kind of uh, the symbol of the city, I guess. And it's right in the centre of the uh, main square. This is known as the uh, Black Tower. I'm not sure what this is called, but it's not open anyway. Um, but this thing you can actually climb, 225 steps to the top, and it gives you uh, uh, great views of the city, and in particular the uh, main square, which is just over there. So I'm going to do the tourist thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, yeah? Yes, yeah, it's thank good. you. It's for you. Yeah. Oh, that's fine, that's okay. Thank you. Just a moment, please. So sit down, please. All right, thank you. Cheers. Right, so finally got to the uh, close look at the uh, town hall, which is a pretty beautiful building to be honest. I'll just step back so I can get the whole thing in. And um, yeah, you've got the uh, four kind of gargoyle heads, I guess, coming out. And then you've got the four statues on the top, uh, two either side of the uh, clock tower. And uh, apparently they represent justice, courage, wisdom and prudence. Well, as is the case in just about every European town and city, you'll find a memorial to the uh, Jewish community that was killed during the Holocaust. And this one is actually uh, on the site of a synagogue. There used to be a synagogue here. So as soon as the Germans occupied the Czech Republic, then uh, life completely changed for the Jewish communities. Um, they were removed from all social aspects of life, they were discriminated against. In 1942, all the Jews from the surrounding towns were sent here and were forced to live in a camp. And then later that year, they were all sent off to uh, extermination camps. 909 people were on the transport and uh, only 30 survived. Shortly after that, the synagogue that stood right here was uh, blown up on the orders of the uh, German mayor. Right, my next place is a place called the Iron Maiden Bar, which, believe it or not, is not a rock bar, but it's this thing. 
and uh, yeah, it's the Iron Maiden Castle Tower bar. So hopefully it's friendly. <laughs> Hi. So I came into the wrong pub. I've just bought a beer from this place and then walked into uh, the beer garden of the pub I actually wanted to go in. And the woman there said, That's, you got that beer from a different pub. So, oh dear. It means you'll have to have another now. Yeah, I'm going to actually have a beer in the Iron Maiden Castle Tower. Dudak, that's what I need to have. Can I have the uh, Dudak? <laughs> Finally made it into the correct bar. <laughs> Decided to go for a curry tonight, so let's see what this is like. <laughs> well, it does look a little bit like someone's taking a dump on a plate, but they're uh, two quid as opposed to you know, ten quid in a restaurant. Public is not just quaint little towns and wonderful bars. Apparently, there's a few uh, castles around as well. And one of them, which is supposed to be one of the best, is about a 20 minute bus ride from where I am right now. So, I'm at the bus station. All I have to do is find the bus that's going to take me there and go and have a look at a bloody castle. That was easy enough. I could walk into the station, walked online at this uh, wonderful bus up that the guy at the last hostel told me about. idos.cz And uh, yeah, it told me that there was a bus leaving in three minutes. And it's cost me 23 check crown, which is about know, 80 pence or something. It'll take me 22 minutes to get there. Wonderful. Well, I made it to the town of Fluboka nad Vlitanu. I'm definitely saying that wrong. And uh, I got off the bus and it was like 27 minutes walk to the castle, which I wasn't expecting. The castle's like literally up there. Uh, I've got to walk right into the uh, town centre itself uh, before I start uh, making my way to the castle, which is good because it's nice to uh, be able to see the town and uh, where there's a town there's coffee nice flowers so there's actually a stage over there with some music on or something well with uh, plenty of coffee options I know let's have a walk around first maybe we've got a Chinese restaurant look It seems the road up to the castle has got a few restaurants and bars. I can imagine this area relies quite a lot on uh, tourism. Nice. Right, let's go and take a look then. So a bit early, the ticket office opens in about eight minutes. So I um, don't know if I'm going to find out much about this castle because there is a guided tour um, at 12.40, but uh, it's in Czech. So in fact, all the tours that are happening today are in Czech. And I've just seen a couple of the information stands uh, around the main ticket office reception. They're all in Czech as well. So it's just going to be a case of looking at how pretty things are, I guess. I've got my ticket and uh, apparently the guide will give me some English papers so 
At least I'll uh, have some idea what he's talking about. Five minutes to go. Well, they wouldn't let me film. <laughs> they wouldn't let me take photos, they wouldn't let me do anything. Um, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. I'll try and find some photos uh, online to kind of show you the kind of things I've just been looking at. It is amazing inside. Um, I think we went in about a dozen rooms or something like that. And uh, just stepping back in time. The detail in the rooms is like every door, every door frame, every cabinet, every ceiling, every wall, every mirror frame is just got so much fine, amazing detail to it. The work that's gone into this place is just incredible. For example, one frame for a mirror took five people five months to make, and that's just one um, item in the whole castle. There was a fireplace that weighed 26 tons. <laughs> Don't think they were uh, short of a few bob, the old uh, Schwarzenbergs. It's a shame I can't show you anything, but it was uh, nice to put the camera away for that. So let me get out of the way here because everyone's second photos. I guess it makes sense while I'm here to have a walk around the, uh, the old gardens. Does it work? This was quite random. So I guess uh, that's it for this failed vlog <laughs> of the castle. Um, I definitely recommend doing it anyway. I guess uh, being in the Czech Republic, which has got hundreds of castles, I had to go and visit at least one. And uh, that one is... Uh, Usually mentioned when, uh, if you Google the best castles in the Czech Republic, that one uh, usually comes up. And it is incredible inside. It's uh, it was definitely worth it. I think it cost me. It did. It cost me just over seven pounds, and the whole thing took about an hour. So that's all right. All I need to do now is find a way to get back to Chesky Budyavica. I said it right, I think. Right, just around the corner from where I'm staying is a place called Zizkana. And apparently it's like some old kind of, uh, I think barracks, I think they are. Um, they've just been kind of abandoned and left to ruin. And uh, some arty types have taken over. Um, so I've got it on my uh, list of places to go and have a look at and tonight there's a gig, four bands on, so I think it's 50 crown to get in. So I've timed that well and it's literally uh, down here just on my left, so it's like a minute away from the uh, hotel. It starts at six, so let's go and check it out. Now it's not going to have any big neon sign outside it, so I need to keep my eyes open. I think this might be it actually. Here we go, it's this car. We've got some live synth and some trash pop, I like the sound of that. Rock Electronica. I think they're the three bands, but that might mean like tonight or something. I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> Is it just me? Oh, I can hear music coming from somewhere. I think I'm going to head over towards that street art. Ah, there's people. In a random huge sand pit. Right, let's check some of this out first. I don't know who any of these people are.
check the bar out first.